Jehovah Roi, God is our Good Shepherd by Jennifer Kostick, read by Leah Martin. When I was a little girl, age 10, my grandfather passed away. The paternal side of my family was not active in church, and to my knowledge, knew nothing about the Jesus who my next door neighbors introduced me to so intimately. I have a vivid memory of sitting in the living room at my grandparents' home when the pastor who would be conducting the funeral asked, is there a specific passage of scripture you'd like mentioned at the service? I was shocked as I heard my great uncle say, yes, Psalm 23. A family who never spoke of the word of God seemed to be actually familiar with something in the Bible. I remember that moment as if it happened yesterday. Throughout adulthood, as I've thought back to that grief-filled living room and the faces inside it, I'm forever grateful to realize Psalm 23 is so much more than a familiarly recited passage read graveside. After all, the Bible is a book about giving life while abolishing death. It provides instruction for abundant living while actively giving spiritual CPR to the weary. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Psalm 23.1 When I read Psalm 23.1, I make it personal and speak, My Jehovah is my good shepherd. He watches over, protecting me from all things. I want for nothing, because he is all I need. I'll tell you why. One of the names of God is Jehovah Roi. It speaks of a good shepherd. When doing research into the occupation of shepherds, we learn that a shepherd's position is one of authority and protection. It's a dangerous job requiring much sacrifice. King David himself in 1 Samuel 17 spoke of rescuing lambs from the mouths of lions and bears. King David authored Psalm 23. And because he began his life as a shepherd, he was obviously familiar with the role. A true shepherd puts his flock at ease by giving everything it needs. Psalm 23 is actually quite prophetic, especially now that we have a clear view of Jesus' work on the cross. In John 10, 11, Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. In the New Living Translation, it uses the word sacrifices. The Good Shepherd sacrifices his life for the sheep. It is Jesus who sacrificed himself to protect us. When we read this small section of scripture with this in mind, we can be confident that we will never want for anything. Our Jesus sacrificed his life for us. The work is done. And we can find confidence and contentment in light of the cross. Hey everyone, thanks for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, a production of the Salem Web Network. If you enjoyed what you heard today, we'd love for you to head over to iTunes and rate and review our podcast. It really does help people find us. This episode was produced by our managing editor, Kelly Givens, and recorded and edited by Stephen Sanders. Be sure to come back tomorrow as we examine more of God's Word.